Hello again, everybody. Well, we're in Pembrokeshire on our between Christmas and New Year break, and we've decided to try and walk from the campsite into Fishguard along the cliff path. But uh, yeah, the weather's terrible, so we're going to turn around and head back to the campsite and we're going to drive the motor home into Fishguard to have a little bit of a look round. We've now driven into Fishguard. It is uh, brightening up a little bit, I think, but we're going to have a little look round the town and see what there is to see. Well, the town was quite quiet and a lot of things were closed up, so we headed towards the sea. Well, this is nice. It's really brightened up, isn't it? It stopped raining anyway. <laughs> well, about tropical, but it is certainly very mild and pleasant. It's nice not to walk into the wind with the rain in the face. That's yeah, no lashing rain and howling gales. We found this nice path which uh, headed down onto the sort of cliff areas below the town and gave a lovely view of the lower town harbour. Look at the beautiful view! See the ferry going out to Ireland there in the distance. So we're on the marine walk. I'm not sure entirely where it goes. I'm hoping it leads to a cafe or something somewhere, but there are some absolutely marvellous views. I don't know if you can walk out on the breakwater. I know Liz wanted to walk out on the breakwater. We might check that out, see if that's possible. But yeah, what a lovely little harbour. I'm sure I've been to Fishguard before, but uh, I don't really remember when. We were still having occasional rain showers and we were lucky enough to spot this lovely rainbow coming down on the end of the breakwater. Well, we'd had about enough of Fishguard town and walking around the shops and stuff. So we come down to the harbour car park to have a little bit of a look around the harbour area. Time first though for a spot of lunch. <music> Now it is free parking down here by the harbour. Fantastic spot to park and uh, just watch the view. We're going to take a quick walk along the harbour wall. You're not allowed to sit on the cannon though. I do like this uh, shoal of fish sculpture. The lower town harbour is quite a quaint and picturesque little place. And Nicky has got a new camera for Christmas. Looks like someone out on that big blue boat has got their stove going. Quite nice to be uh, all cosied up in that boat, looking out at the harbour, I guess, on a cold day like this. Yeah, not sure quite what this fella represents. Right, back to the van, I reckon. I've left the diesel heater going, so it should be nice and warm when we get back there and we can wash up after our lunch and then head back to the campsite. Well, the next morning, I got underneath the van to tighten the alternator belt up a bit because I noticed it started slipping and squealing a little bit under deceleration. In the meantime, our new friend Anne arrived. She's a subscriber to our channel and to the Herman Hits the Road channel. And she very kindly offered to drive us to the nearby White Sands Bay. And what a lovely spot it was. It very, very windy today, so there was quite a lot of surf coming onto the beach. Uh, quite heavy, uh, big, large waves. However, I still judged it perfectly safe enough to have a shallow paddle. Sadly though, no one else really seemed to feel like joining me. Preferring instead to walk on the sand.
there's a brave chap out there in his wetsuit on a surfboard. Well, we're going for a bit of a walk along the coast path. We can see a bit of a headland, which it looks like you can walk out onto and uh, watch the waves breaking. So yeah, we'd like to do that if possible. This is the headland that we'd like to get out on. Now of course you should explore the coastline and especially cliffs and rocky areas with care. It was not far off high tide and we knew the tide was heading out so we were confident we weren't going to get cut off by exploring this little headland. But uh, the weather was quite bad and the waves were very very large so yeah you need to be very careful in these type of scenarios that you're not risking uh, falling into the sea or slipping or being washed away by a big wave because uh, yeah that definitely wouldn't end well so exercise extreme care if you're exploring the coastline It was a fantastic place to be though and it was just marvellous to sit out here and experience the sort of power of the wind and waves. It's the last day of our holiday and we've come to Dinas Islands to have a little bit of a walk round. It's not a true island, it's more of a sort of uh, peninsula. But uh, yeah, it's just along the coast in the opposite direction from Fishguard from the campsite. Probably about a uh, sort of 10, 15 minute drive. And the rain does seem to be holding off, although it is still a little bit blowy. That's a lovely walk this, I really enjoyed it. It's about three miles to walk all the way around the peninsula, so just about right for a winter's afternoon stroll. I was particularly struck by this bright orange fungus. Can anyone name it? Now I wish I could do Welsh pronunciations better because we're now coming to the little harbour of what I'm going to read as Cum Eregluis. Uh, it's, it's almost certainly not how you say it. Anyway, there's this lovely little ruined church there. So that about brings our holiday to an end. All that remains is to go back to the campsite, have our last evening and then head for home tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed coming along with us and we'll see you very soon in the next video.